Just yeah. now. Is it your so first? I haven't slept for a week and a half. I'm going to have to speak to you Is guys. it your first kid or no? Second. Second. Yeah. Nice. Two Congrats, more. man. Mm. Thanks. Cool. Thank you very much. It's not as good as a movie, but... <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Zach, thank you very much for joining the Fitzy and Ripper show. Thrilled. Um, the new movie Into Darkness is out uh, May 16. Sweet. Now, we can't talk too much. We've seen the movie, but we can't give away too much. We can't give away. There's a massive spoiler in this show that Huge. we can't give away. How are you going fielding questions about that? Yeah. What do you do to dance around that? What question? Well, uh, um, the, vil okay, we the villain in the show. It's superfluous to even, even yeah. talk about Don't it. Don't say really. it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's, the thing is that... This movie's full of twists and turns and surprises that we really have a vested interest in preserving for the audience. Mm. So You've just given it away. Sorry, did he just give it away? Oh, I didn't hear it then. No. no, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. No. <laughs> anyway. right. Stop it. Stop it, Zach. <laughs> How are you going with your Aussie accent? Trying it. Trying it. It's Try hard. It. Well, it's good. It's hard, Ooh. mate. No. 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 Is it all right? Going up. Okay. You're going right. a bit more British, Zach. British? Yeah. 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 It was a bit more British. Right. Get out of here. Right. I think Chris what about that? What about We're going to go out for a corker night tonight. Cor corker night tonight. Corker. 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 Or a belter night. That's a belter night. That's a good That's good. Got for, for a belter night. I have night. such a propinquity for this accent, but I can't really quite do it. You'll get there. Man. Smoothly. Just believe in yourself. <laughs> Someday. With, it's with, a paltry you're attempt. You're very on today. You're usually it's quite merc mercurial. But you were just like straight ahead, like a like an effing arrow. <laughs> it's my milieu. This question. is my milieu. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> totally. These <laughs> guys are my jam. <laughs> I feel like, I, you know... <laughs> You're with the, with you're, the you're it over there with your with your uh, on your high horse. Whatever. He's confident today. <laughs> Whatever. Can we talk about your hair, Zach? Because it is the most talked about with Spock. Spock. Oh, Spock. oh. I was like, what's Spock. up with my hair? No, it's Spock, fine no, today. You, your hair looks exactly magnificent today. All right, today. all right, thanks. Mm. That's my real hair, though. Do you have that outside of shooting when you when you shoot the movie? I'm a I'm a poor guy. I know it is it is because uh... it's very Lloyd Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if they make Dumb and Dumber 3, you've got the job. Well, they are. <laughs> oh, if you been given a if I was more recalcitrant, I would say I will not do this and I will wear a wig. But unfortunately, I actually shave my eyebrows and, and, uh, and comb my hair in this unfortunate fashion for the duration of shooting. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm kind of a, a, a whirling dervish of hats and glasses and mm. all kinds of things. But it's, a, it's probably the most challenging part of playing the role. Oh. It, gets, it gets, you know, it gets a little bit... By the fifth month, yep, yep, you've had enough of you. I've had enough. But, You're not pumping out to get coffee or anything, are you? No. I do have to. What you about? To. My, I mean, what am I going to do? Stop mm. living my life? Yeah. You know? The good news is that uh, you're a real actor, yeah. <laughs> you got to do it. <laughs> Commit to it or get out. I think, I, I think DDL would have done it. Oh yeah, DDL would have done it. Yeah. Sure, sure. With, it, but, with a film like this, I mean, they talk about the fans and how mad they are, and I'm sure this gets brought up a lot. Do you get a briefing prior to taking the role that this will change your life in terms of the people that are going to demand it from, from you for the rest of your life? They're mad. Mm. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know whether it's just the way that w we individually live our lives or the context in which this movie uh, exists as opposed to the original series. Mm. But I don't really find it to be intrusive. I, I, I found the fans to be supportive and encouraging. and Because uh, often the real ones will even try and mount questions to stump you, right, won't they? Right, Because, you know, it's been their life for such a long right, time. Right, You wouldn't know anything about that, though, no, would you? No, I would never <laughs> ever do that, besides okay. haircut questions. Yeah. That's, that's all I do. <laughs> um, it is, uh, John Harrison is a character in the movie. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch, how awesome is that guy's voice? He's got one of the most... It's, it's, seriously, it's, I wish I could uh, narrate my life. Oh, mm. unbelievable. It is Demolson, and he's such a statuesque figure in general as an actor and as a person. He's got the very euphonious. Very euphonious that boy. He's got the great, uh, you know. He's got he's he's all around. Uh, Ben's a great guy, and and he fits so well into this ensemble. And we were we were thrilled to welcome him, and you know we got we got to work with him right at a time when he was sort of just you know the second season of Sherlock came yeah. out in the states, mm. and he was in War Horse and uh, yeah. and Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy at that time, and. It was really this, exciting this to watch. Hopefully, will catapult him. I mean, he deserves it too. He's spectacular. Yeah, very good. Spectacular. Absolutely. Well, boys, Star Trek Into Darkness, very action packed. Yeah. Captain Kirk is. There's a lot of running in this one, and he comes back. Yes. Comes who back runs more than back. Spock in this movie? Oh man, you know Spock. Nobody. Yeah. He doesn't run more than me. Do you play in, getting <laughs> getting into the character of Spock when you're filming? Do you just say, Chris, I, no feelings, mate. Don't even. Do not talk to me. Yeah, the whole time. Get away from me, eat your chicken. <laughs> uh, the good thing for me about playing the role is that I, I have two and a half hours in the morning before anybody else has to show up to work. 
get to your get it, Yeah, to get all my <laughs> stuff together. So for me, that time actually is uh, valuable, even if I'm sleeping, uh, to kind of center myself and go on through the day. But none of us are particular. I mean, in a movie like this, uh, I, I think a lot is reliant upon our ability to mm. uh, keep it light and keep things moving and yep. to, to understand the context of the world that we're creating, mm -hmm. which has um, it has a lot of humor in it, yeah. you know, and uh, and action, but also emotional connection among the characters, yeah. and that's the thing that that you know uh, Spock finds himself in in this movie. I think in a, a pretty He's gone through a lot, you yep. know, but he's yep. also accomplished a lot. He's achieved a lot. It's very Pyrrhic in its way of, of, you know, his growth came at a great, at a tremendous cost to his own well-being and his the well-being of his race. You agree, Chris? Zach, Zach, Zach's one. I think Zach's got the most Pyrrhic. It's <laughs> 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 been a vote cap lesson for us. Real. Star Trek, the new movie. It's well out done. May 16, boys. Look, Thank a, you. There's a shark out in the harbour now. Quickly look around. What? Nah, just joke. <laughs> we don't have sharks. Don't pop up everywhere, mate. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, no.